All right, today is the grand opening of the popular burger chain Shake Shack. Cora Harlan live in Beaverton on Southwest Cedar Hills Boulevard with your very first look at this brand new restaurant. Cor. Hi, Ken. Hi, Jenny. This will be the first store, a Shake Shack store in Oregon. Opens at 11 o'clock this morning. They'll have a brief ribbon cutting here at the uh, Crossroads Mall in Beaverton. That's at the corner of Cedar Hills Boulevard and Walker as they begin to develop out uh, the, the, the other part of the mall here. There, I guess the north end of the mall here along Walker. I'm standing in front of uh, what is, uh, as you can see here, really uh, abundant outdoor seating. Now, I'm not sure if that is, uh, you know, in response to the COVID pandemic that they've had time to actually design in all of this, but this space is covered. It's heated. There's circulating fans up above there for when it gets a little a little bit warmer on this summer. There's plenty of heat lamps and lights and everything else. So uh, there is a lot more room outside the Shake Shack here at the mall than there is inside. Of course, this is a burger chain uh, that is now in, if memory serves me right, 300 locations in about 27 states. Uh, including the District of Columbia there, a, a burger, small little burger joint that started actually in New York City in the early 2000s and has caught on wildly popular nationwide. Roll a little bit of that video and we will show you kind of the assembly of hamburgers and stuff that they are known, uh, famous for. Uh, one of, uh, this, this is funny. Now, Adam, our producer, uh, sent me a picture this morning. He says, I took the Shake Shack video in Vegas a few years ago. He sent me a picture of what they call a double smoke shack burger. The bacon is thick cut, and you can see the sauteed cherry pepper in there as well. In parentheses, he says, it was very good. For use today, if we need to show off food for the image, look at the, the one I'm looking at here has a big old burger in there, some, some shack sauce inside there as well, which I'm told is the special sauce that makes a lot of the Shake Shack what it is, the sh the shack sauce. So we'll see how that goes. As I mentioned, Jenny and Ken, they have a, a brief ribbon cutting ceremony here at about 1030 this morning before opening their doors here at 11 o'clock. And I, again, uh, this, I don't know if this is a permanent feature of new design that we will see going forward here, but there are probably two or three times as many places to sit outdoors as there are indoors in here. All of the COVID protocols apply and according to the company the, in terms of the people preparing uh, the food there. Uh, they have a, an, an app that you can order food on, a drive up that they'll deliver it to. You can pick it up, take it to go any way you'd like it. But uh, it looks like a lot of goodness. After, after yesterday, as I mentioned, yesterday at the uh, Tulip Festival with deep fried uh, Deep fried um, Twinkies, deep fried Oreos, elephant ears, uh, pulled pork sandwich, beef brisket sandwich, all of that stuff went down beautifully. But thankfully this morning they have not sent anybody out here to fire the grill up uh, this morning so I can uh, sort of complete my coronary uh, uh, regimen that I'm uh, prepared to be working on here for the last couple of days or so. From Beaverton this morning where we are awaiting the grand opening of Oregon's first Shake Shack uh, here at the Crossroads Mall. Jenny and Ken. Yeah, got to keep you trim, Core, right? <laughs> well, got to get them trim. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, that's a, <laughs> that's a big, that's a big, it's a lot of work. Aww, it's a lot well. of work to keep this much weight on all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you only have to Set wait it. until 11 o'clock. So I'm, I'm sure uh, since you're the first in line, yeah. you'll get your burger early. We'll see. Some shack sauce, too, would be nice. Ooh, shack sauce. Maybe a salad. Maybe I'll mix in a salad, yeah, too. Get, yeah, okay. get a salad, too. That, All right. Help. Thank you, Cor. <laughs> you know, at 645 <laughs> right now. And uh, I was saying, I went there the last time I was in California. Dare I say, I know Carly's going to disagree. I don't know about uh, Steve and Ken. I liked Shake Shack more than In-N-Out. I know yeah. that's blasphemy to a lot of people. Well, I did, uh, I did uh, Shake Shack in Chicago. Okay. And uh, I liked it a little better than In and Out as well, but they're oh, very comparable. I yeah. mean, they are very comparable. So yeah. uh, uh, you can't go wrong either way, really. Mm -hmm. In and Out has such a unique taste, and I've never s had anything like it. So I don't. Yeah. I haven't had Shake Shack, so oh, I can't really speak. Okay. On this, so, so the jury's still <laughs> out. Yeah. Right. I will try mm -hmm. it, but mm -hmm. it's really hard to beat In and Out. Mm 
Mm. And I love Killer Burger. I'm going to have a little shout out for Killer Burger because okay. that's my other favorite. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a good choice as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's some really great burger there establishments are. all over the country. And uh, we're getting all of them right here now. Everybody wants to make sure that Portlanders and people in the Portland metro area get a taste. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. There's a, a it, the newsroom is just a heated debate about burgers and what, what's the best mm -hmm. right now. We have a whiteboard up and <laughs> the comments on there are <laughs> insane. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. moving along, I got to yeah. get to weather and traffic. Well, we're going to start with